And basically, it, it looks like this that's is... That's why I get some, because my mom will ask me, like, I don't know what it says. Okay, no, that's no problem. <laughs> that's no so, problem. Um, um, all right, so the, if you, so so the, the MRI... So we did the MRI, and it looks again like, like what was happening in October, you know, where they... There's an area where it's just pushing, you know, your spinal cord is supposed to go straight down, you know, but it's so getting, I, it's is getting, it another tumor? Yeah, and it's and it's it's getting pushed again, and you know, really, like, yeah, and it's and it's not it's not the exact same spot as you had the surgery, but okay, the, but it's still inflicting maybe some of those. Elements. It's like it's like a soft tissue tumor though, you know, so it and it and it does you know it does make your spinal cord kind of move to the side, you know, it's it goes okay. straight down and it and it's getting pushed. So I. I talked a little bit with Dr. Lal, you know, and basically I told him that, you know, hey, we were already talking about maybe doing the radiation for pain. So I it's said, not that I'm crazy that I have actual pain then, right? No, no. I th so uh, any uh, any time uh, anytime you have uh, something that pushes on the spinal cord, yeah. usually the first symptom you get is often pain before even the weakness sometimes yeah. is, is pain in that area. So, so no, I, I think you have a good reason to have the pain. And, and honestly, I think, you know, what what worries us remedies, is, you know, remedies. What are we looking at? so I think, you know, right now, I think the best thing to do would be to try and get you started on the radiation to shrink it. Cause yes. I think the, you know, we, they've kind of yes. studied this in the past. The, the best thing we can do is if we shrink that tumor, it takes the pressure off the spinal cord. And, and then I think you can get your legs stronger yeah. and people, you know, I feel like they're there, but like I said, anytime I try to, it goes right to that spot. And for whatever reason, last night, I don't know. Last you know, night was another bad night well, for the um, pain, you think? After take, you know, I, I can tell because the more dilated I take. Yeah. And it's usually I'm laying still, and then I just go to move, like, right now. And it's like, oh. And then if I move, it, and then it gets just inflamed. So that yeah, kind of fluctuates. Makes it angry. Yeah. It gets confusing as far as where I'm at with that. But um, overall, the pain does change in severity. and So anyway, um is it since it's soft it may radiate faster so in general yes with, that's what's uh, going to happen and my back is just going to turn into like a very strong back so i i do think you know i i do think that what we'll what we'll do is you know usually myeloma is really sensitive to the radiation okay so there are some types of tumors where we radiate it and radiate it and the darn thing doesn't shrink myeloma typically is one that responds well and usually quickly you know so if it was something where i thought you know what we're just not going to be able to shrink it at all then i would say you know what gosh we got to get the get surgery back involved but you know yeah. i don't i don't no. think we i don't think we want to because no. you know one i think one of the problems we have if we don't you know if we don't treat this spot you know is i i think if they put you through surgery you got to recover no, again let's just radi then, radiation you know, radiation though yeah steroid what other so well, like the, the, are we ever going to get al Sawi back in the universe or oh yeah no he's he's still involved with you trust me he's yeah. just uh they they alternate who actually rounds in the hospital, but Dr. Law and Dr. Al Sawa are talking, and I actually talked to Dr. Al Sawa yesterday before I had the MRI. But you know, I told him we were going to maybe do some radiation for the back, and I asked him. I said, Hey, you know, the type of treatment you guys have been discussing for the whole body, you know, because I I feel like if we don't get you started on something in the near future for the whole body, then like I said, something could pop up in the upper back or the yeah, lower no, back again, it. you know. Well, and, but that's also um, what did I request to you about the compare size of the images of the tumors yeah did you go over all side with that oh yeah you know and I, I i haven't showed him the newest mri but I, like i said i, I now, will are these imaging sizes like a, can you actually depict like the beginning size of a tumor or whatever you're looking at to an mri or mri to a ct and do an actual like yeah and it doesn't I, matter what the imaging is i can we we can do that but we have at least we have a you know i think this is a third mri we have so when you know, if, so what we do normally when we do the first thing we always do for the radiation is a planning scan. So I can actually show you what it looks like. You know, I want to. So. I would really like to see the images. Yeah. And you know, I would really like to also see the bone marrow test report. Oh, of course. You know, I I told Candy the other day that you wanted a printed copy. We can give you one. Please. Um, you know, I'll have a, but I I do think this is kind of one of those things where what, what happens, you know, is the the spinal cord, you know, if it gets pushed for too long. The nerves don't always recover, you right? Know? And I know. so, and if, that's where if I'm we like, don't get you rolling on the radiation, well, I worry can we do about that you. Today? Yeah, that that was the plan. I was gonna I was gonna bring you down either way today, just for the pain. But yeah. oh, sorry. But like I said, I think that with with knowing that the spinal cord's still getting pushed. Is this just surely your opinion, or was Osali looking at my images too? So, Doctor Law. Not that I. I mean, yeah. Guys, I, 
I don't know what equivalents you are, if you're assisting or because he's out or... No, no, you're, maybe we're, you're, we're kind of like complimentary fields. Like, like I had know. a 4.0, he only had three seven the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> so trust me, we're, we're on the same team, but the radiation is, uh, we're, you know, he doesn't do the radiation and I don't do like the drug side of it. So, okay. um, but they, they did also talk, Dr. Alsawa did talk about potentially doing like I, you know, I said they can't, they probably can't start the, the targeted immune type therapy you want to do for you Something. in the we hospital. We got to sit and work it out and yeah. get more of a regimen But, you know, but he can, a lot of times the first thing they do is get you like on a loading steroid My number dose. one thing is just the pain. Yeah. Which will open up, like I said, my, the bet, you know, I risk versus reward kind of with the drugs and the prescription. You know, I don't know if that's a term, in the, in the, but that's where I'm at right now with risk versus reward even though maybe the cancer might be a seemingly urgent thing, to get my legs mobile and help myself help. Yeah, like, that's I can be really the... add a lot more oomph to the yeah. everything. And, and, and you know, and, and really like, you know, we, we know that guys who are able to, to walk and move around tolerate treatments better, you know, but I, I, can have, uh, I can have them bring you down. If you remember that we have to do a quick scan of you just because the back, you whatever know, we got to do. Dr. Parson treated down here, and we're going to go a little bit higher up. Um, but, you know, we'll do the planning scan. Is there a way to see, like, I, this is another thing I've been trying, and I try not to be a nuisance, or I try not to ask too much, but since day one, and I know I have files at Mount Clemens and Port Huron, but I would love to see an image of this specifically. Oh, yeah. Can you know, I get if, a picture um, of it? If you come down to the, you know, we'll, we'll try and bring you down to the department for that planning scan this morning. And I'll uh, I'll just pull it up on the laptop. That's no Perfect. problem. Okay. You know. You know I just because I'm a very visual person as most people are. And yeah. You know these reports are probably very... help help you to. See, I think it'll help you to see it. Yeah. Very, um, okay. Um, any last recommendations or things you can help me think clear? Because like I'm coming a little bit out of the the drugs for the MRI, which you know yeah. I mean I do. I know that, it makes people foggy. Yeah. It just makes you kind of loopy and like and then with um doing more tram or the. Pain, I'm just not used to all this stuff in my head and well, all know, the whole scenario. I, I do think there's a decent chance, you know, once we get a little bit of radiation in you, you might be able to decrease the pain medications. I, I, warned, oh, no, you can't I warned you that it's not something where, you know, the, the pain relief might just not be instant. You know, it might not be right that second. But, uh, you know, once once no, you yeah. get a little bit of time after... Now, from your impression, did you see the former two tumors to this one? And how much is it pushing? I mean, should I mean maybe we should do this. Is it... They were like emergency surgery, so now we're we're not gonna do that. But should we maybe or how urgent is it to get the? So it's it's definitely you know, something. I don't want to risk anything. Yeah, we I want to get you started, and we can get you started today with the treatments. Okay. You know, so um, but let's um, you know, let me let me have my nurses bring you down okay. to the department. I'll show you the scans, and then Perfect. we'll we'll do the planning scan. And could you maybe print out the uh, bone marrow biopsy? We'll do okay. All right. I know I'm asking a no, lot. No, that's okay. Mr. Hey, you asked it the other day, so you know that's no problem. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just on this verge here, like you know. I know there's it's all... exciting in a way. It's like, how are you gonna live? Are you gonna die? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> My mom's well, you like, know. you're not gonna die. Like. You never know, but no, I'm, well, I'm ready to I, fight I, this. It's I just, think, yeah, I think my biggest concern would be if we don't do something about that, eventually you, you won't be able to walk and it'll be one of those well, things. Well, that's what like I heard the, with the surgery and yeah, I just didn't know if that was more per, prone to the TL5 though. Like I said, I mean, I think it could be a, either way, let's, there, I like said, I'm, I think a natural way that I look at life is like, you know, hey, it may in some cases be where there's pain elsewhere, but. When you have pain, that's your brain saying, I got pain, let's go there. Yeah. And, and that's, it's a natural and first I can, And I can tell you, I was able to look at the, the scans and they, they scanned you from about here to the, your tailbone. And, you know, and that, the area right here is the definitely yeah. the priority, you know, because the other, there's some other spots. But so none does of, none anything of else are, show up as besides the tumor or what? Anything you could just real quick give me and then we'll, I guess. We do, we do see some of the other spots that are kind of like. Yeah, I, and I can show it to you when you look at the MRI. They're kind of like next is to the... Is it bubbles a lot or some or... There's... There, you can see... And what's going to stop that from coming back? How about that? So that's... Is it all... Um, and how do we know it's cancer tumor or not just like a, a fat buildup or yeah. an inflammation? Do we know it's even cancer necessarily, which I think the PET scan would help us with? You know, the PET, the PET scan does kind of help things light up. But, you know, the... Um, I think we know because we've had a couple MRIs on you that, you know, anything that kind of forms this shape and pushes like this is you know 
probably 99% it's going to be cancer, yeah, you know, yeah. the, uh, uh, like a fatty buildup or even scar tissue isn't going to change over short, like it, yeah. it, it changes over long periods of time, but not short periods. Um, I'm surprised if it, you know, anyway, I don't know how I, the fast they grow. But. I do think one, one thing that will be definitely important for you, like, is, you know, I know we'll get you, we'll get you through the radiation to help try and get you walking better. But mm. I know if, you know, if you're kind of like, hey, let's want to stop this from showing up again, it'll be doing something with Dr. Alsawa for the whole body. Because like I said, when he gives you a drug or the, you know, even this, you know, everything yeah, for the whole body, that, that stops it growing everywhere, you know? So we don't have to kind of play, I don't want to play whack-a-mole where we hit this spot and then three months later we hit this spot, you but, know? Um, and, so that's why I'm trying to, you know, I, I mean, I know I'm just, like that's why I really have a concern or interest about the growth, the actual size of growth. Yeah. Because it would be fair to say that if one grew, they all grew generally i don't think it would ever be a factor where one grew and one shrunk i mean that would be abnormal it would be without doing any kind of like whole body treatment that'd be unusual you know so but yeah. I, so, I i'll uh, like i said but i'll show you visually the scan i think it'll help you okay i mean you know anything i could get report for like just to look at real time to get yeah, an idea absolutely but if we could try to get the report for the bone marrow okay. <laughs> and then the um bone marrow and then the um the bone marrow report and, and the size changes the MRI. in the tumors yeah. and the MRI and then thank you so much. Yeah, no, we'll 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 be chatting, okay? What's so, the oh, sorry. Yeah, this is the party. I feel like I feel like I, I'm important. I talked to him about the where it's pushing on the spinal cord. Yeah, you so. have another tumor. It's above yeah. where being a decompressed. Above. Oh, Bob. oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. So you. All right. I was going to show I'm you this a, down. A circle. Down down okay, here. okay. You actually have. I mean, you have multiple different areas, but. There's kind of one obvious problem. One really spot. Bad one, so. Is that where like I wake up and I want someone to just like shoot me? Yeah, so this is your spine right here. Uh -huh. I'll get, you can have this. This right here, this is a Goomba. That's a tumor. This is what it should look like. And okay. now it's getting completely compressed right here. So I'm not crazy about my no, pain. No, but I'm surprised you can walk right now. Dude, I know. I'm just like a soldier, but yeah. What do you want to do? 